you're tired, rest. Lanterns are in the city. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dragon's Dogma. Dark Arisen. With me, King's Ransom. Uh, so we are continuing the just fun, goofy, side questy stuff that I've been doing in these last couple of videos here. Uh, this is probably going to be the last one in the series, assuming I can actually finish off these phantoms here. These are irritating enemies. Um, yeah, so I just I spent the last couple of videos doing some side quests. I did like an escort mission. We got to explore some fun new areas we haven't been to yet. And we were fighting a bunch of new enemies we haven't encountered previously as well. Ah. So it looks like Magnus was actually possessed. That's the other thing that these phantoms can do. These ghosty creatures. Uh, they can possess you or your pawns and cause that person to start attacking their their friends, uh, your party. They're not too tough. They, they can't really take much of a hit, those phantoms. And when they are trying to possess somebody, they are vulnerable to physical attacks. So that's when you can melee them. Uh, although if you have a some sort of enchantment on your weapons, like I do right now, I have the holy enchantment on my daggers, because I am playing a strider, a rogue, instead of the mage that I've been playing for a significant portion of the game up till now. Uh, when you have an enchantment, you can always hit them with your attacks. Now there is a cliff, so we're not going to fall off there. I'm just looking for more of those phantoms. I think we only have like one or two more left to kill. And I really just want to finish this quest. And we can go back to Grand Soren and do some more stuff. Ah, there's one. Uh, they only come out at night, those phantoms, and luckily they're pretty easy to spot from a distance. Usually this place is swarming with them. Usually they're just all over the place. You fight like five or ten of them at a time, and they're it's irritating. Uh, but I'm actually not having much luck fighting them. They do stand out, and of course I miss with my awesome shot that I was trying to get off there. Would have been cool if it would have landed. Uh, they stand out, they're pretty easy to spot, um, but distances are pretty tricky and kind of difficult to judge at night. Oh, and of course there's a bunch of goblins here, so that's going to be irritating. Luckily, goblins are not too horribly tough. Especially now that I've been upgrading all my skills, I can actually do a fair bit of damage here. Alright. And <laughs> just like that, wrecked that goblin. These are hobgoblins, by the way, not normal, boring, regular goblins. And you can hear my party commenting on that. They're stronger than normal goblins, and so on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and eat a couple of mushrooms to recover my stamina, because I did stagger myself there from uh, using up all my energy. Can I hit you, please? No. Those phantoms can be pretty tricky to hit. As you saw with my failed attempt there just a moment ago. Can I hit you now? No. They're they're all wispy and stuff, and it's kind of tough to judge where they're at sometimes. Which is okay. Because this becomes a lot easier when they decide to latch onto one of my pawns like that. There we go. I'm using my Helm Splitter attack uh, because it does a couple of hits and also gives me uh, an attack in the air. Like it lets me jump up in the air. Why is this one so tough to kill? Let's strike it down. Right, please hit it. Please, please, please. Huh, I wonder if this is a phantasm instead of a phantom. Like, I wonder if this is the tougher, stronger, upgraded version. So this guy has taken a whole heck of a lot to drop. I'll check my quest log as soon as we kill this thing and see which quest the kill counted towards. Okay, nope, that was just a phantom because that completed that quest there. Huh, interesting. That was much tougher than the other ones that we've been fighting previously. Okay, so the next things that we need to kill now are... Uh, we have a lot of things, but uh, my lantern is only half full. Um, if we use this fairy stone here, we can jump back up. 
slopes to the north face forest. We're going to go back to the uh, Null Figure Hill where we can fight a bunch of snow harpies and hopefully some undead warriors easily. Now we have two quests for killing undead warriors. Those are the the zombies who actually have weapons and armor. They're a bit tougher than your normal zombie. Which is saying something because zombies in this game are tough. There's something drawn on the hill. Uh, we have two of those quests. One to kill uh, or to destroy I guess might be more accurate. Um, 15 of the undead warriors and another quest to kill 45 and they are cumulative so if we kill the first 15 it'll count towards both quests and we'll only have 30 more that we need to kill on top of that um but we also need like i believe nine more snow harpies so those should be up here a little ways and i'm gonna go after the snow harpies first if i can find some i believe we should still be able to fight them at night like, I don't think it matters whether it's night or day when it comes to the snow harpies. Yeah, and you can see there's some flying around, or maybe you can see, I don't know. Uh, there's some flying around up over in that general direction. Yeah, those are not birds, those are harpies. Although harpies are kind of bird-like, I suppose. Whoops, wrong button. No, no, no. Oh boy, and one of them grabs me, of course. <laughs> That was kind of fun. Uh, I used my home splitter attack in the air. I was curious to see what would happen, and I, it made me splat on the ground, so... Okay. It was still worth it. It looked pretty cool as I somersaulted to the ground. Now, luckily... Yep, so there, one of them got their song off and caused me to fall asleep. That's irritating. There we go. Lucy will come save me. Uh, let's see. Now, Lucy does have some spells that she can cast, like a fireball spell and what to, whatnot, to hit them and cause them to fall. Um, I could try to shoot them with arrows, although without a fire enchantment, it'll take quite a few arrows to bring the harpies down. Like, it, it takes a few hits if you're not lighting them on fire. Now, when they get lit on fire, they fall instantly. So, uh, I there's myself, there's my other ranged friend there, Milu, the other pawn, who is also an archer. He can drop them pretty easily. Elongated claw. That's fa oh, that's fantastic. We got two of those. Those are fairly uncommon, and they're quite useful for upgrading items. Awesome. So that went well. Uh, we have a few more harpies that we still need to deal with. So I'm gonna need to go find another batch of them. Yeah, and there's one sitting right there. So let's see if I can hit that one. Ah, oh, I did hit it with my. Uh, that was my. Full bend. Oh, awesome. Oh, that was one from the earlier fight. It looks like it was trying to escape. Uh, full bend is a, a shot, just a single powerful arrow. It's a skill I just acquired in the last video. I don't think I've shown it off too much. You kind of have to let it charge up like a like a magic spell or something before you can unleash it. But it does a significant amount of damage. Uh, the upgraded version that we'll be acquiring later is even better. I'm not going to use it there because this harpy's almost dead and easy to kill. Awesome, so we're done with that quest now. Uh, and unfortunately now it's turning to daytime, so we're not going to be able to get the uh, the undead that I had hoped to fight. That's okay, though. Alright, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Gonna grab a few more items before I use my fairy stone and head back to Grand Soren. Don't know that there's anything else over here of any import. Now we did encounter a Cyclops, I believe, earlier in the game. I'm gonna give a bunch more skulls to Lucy. She's collecting them now. It's kind of creepy and maybe a bit disturbing that she has all these skulls in her inventory, but eh, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm o I am over encumbered, so I need to move a bunch of these items over to uh, my other party members here. Ah, part of why I'm over encumbered. Oh, that's a consumable. Okay, I don't want to give that to people. A part of why I'm over encumbered is because accomplishing those quests will give me some items. Uh, like it looks like we got a weapon for one of those. Oh, a weapon for a couple of them. So golden grace and. Uh, Okay, so we have we have two uh, mages. St 
staves. Is this an archmage or an arch staff? Or a sorcerer? I don't know. Either way, those are heavy, those items that we got for, or the weapons that we got there for completing those quests. And also, I can turn off my lantern because it is now daytime. Uh, we had fought a Cyclops over here earlier. And I'm just going to wander in this direction quickly to, to check and see if there is something like that sticking out. Because we do need to kill a third Cyclops for uh, one of our side quests. And I'm not... Like, it's not super critical that we find one. I do know where we can encounter some later. Oh, there's a Chimera there. Oh, you know what? We're going to save and go after that Chimera. That's going to be fun. <laughs> Way more fun than hunting a bunch of zombies in the middle of the night. We're going to go after a chimera, everybody. I saw that that creature over there, the outline of it. I'm like, I'm trying to figure out, like, what is that thing? It's a chimera. This is going to be fun. It's probably going to be bad. Oh, there's... Crap, there's direwolves and harpies and goblins and all manner of nasty things here. <laughs> Alright, well, this might go poorly. Oops. Uh, let's see. So I don't know that I've talked about strategy for fighting these creatures too much. Um, I think I kind of bypassed the Chimera strategy um, in the tutorial level, because the Chimera was the boss of the original tutorial level at the very, very start of the game. Uh, now these will... What? Where are you going? Here. So first thing that you want to do is you want to deal with the Snakehead. The Snakehead will interfere with you trying to kill the rest of the Chimera. So you can see my strategy here, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You climb up on it and you just start pounding away at it with, uh, eat a large fish. You just pound away at it, you hack away at it. So the Chimera has a health bar at the top. You can see it's the pink bar and the three dots, meaning that it actually has, uh, I believe like four full health bars. Oh my gosh, Magnus is an idiot, and Lucy is dying. Uh, let's give a bunch of curative items to my warrior, Magnus. Since he seems to be taking quite a pounding here. He is blind and I am asleep, so for the sleep, I'm going to use a bring bout that will wake me up. I will give a bring bout to Milu as well, and I will give... One or two, uh, Magnus already has one. I can't give anything to Lucy because Lucy is dying right now. Um, I believe I have some eye drops here, though, that I can give to him. Eye drops, eye drops, eye drops, please, somewhere. Eye drops, eye drops, eye drops. Anywhere, eye drops. Spring water. Ah, I will dole out a little bit of spring water to my party members as well so that they can heal and heal the rest of us. That's going to be pretty helpful. Uh, I guess maybe I don't have any eye drops? Um, uh, an interventive would be effective, but I don't know if that's what I want to... I'll just give it to him. Whatever. I don't care. I don't care that much. He needs to be able to fight. Don't let fear keep you back. All right, and then I am up, and I need to bring Lucy back. So... This is going to be... Oh, there's hobgoblins and whatnot also. I'm going to go after the hobgoblins and the wolves first. Just kind of deal with some of these little creatures. Uh, because they can call enforcements like this one was trying to do. Uh, snow harpies are going to be a problem. The chimera is going to be a huge problem. This fight might go horribly and is kind of going horribly. Uh, that's okay, though. As long as I'm still alive, I can keep reviving my pawns. Oh, man. So somebody used a spring water there when I took that hit to, to prevent me from dying, which is an awesome use of those things. Anyway, um, this is getting a bit intense, so apologies if my commentary is suffering a little bit because of it. Let me deal with some of this trash, some of these little goblins and harpies and whatnot here who are just getting in the way. now, Especially now that I have a fire weapon, this should go by a bit quicker. Uh, and then I'll talk about the chimera once I actually start fighting that thing, because... This is a bit busy here. Okay. Making progress. I killed this hobgoblin. 
It looks like there's still one or two wolves left. Okay. Um, just gonna run around and pick up some items. You never know when you might pick up something that will be useful. Throat drops could be useful. I think the goat can silence my people. Alright. A bunch of dire wolves here, and then all we have left is the chimera, I believe, after I get these wolves. Uh, so that lion can roar like he just did there. Um, I'll, I'll talk about the heads a little bit while I'm doing this, because this has gotten a bit easier now. Oh boy, that's why you want to deal with the snake first, because that is super horribly nasty that he just grabbed me like that. Okay. Oh man, and the wolf too. Come on. Alright, wolf, you're... Nope, come back here. Kill the direwolf. Okay, so... Chimera. It has three heads, as you can see, and as you might expect from a chimera. The lion's head is physical. It's melee, it pounces, it bites, it has the claws. It's just generally gonna try to pounce on you and rip you to shreds. Uh, it's also gonna be the final part that we try to take down. But the other thing about the lion's head, as we've seen that a couple times, is that it can roar. I need to drop that part if I can. There we go. Can I do that? Uh, it's also pretty weak to magic, so if you use magic against... Oh, there, there's that harpy. So if you use magic against the lion's head, it's generally going to be fairly effective. Uh, the other two heads... Oh yeah, no, the thing it's doing, it's roaring. So when it roars... Let me try to go in order. Physical attacks, claws, nasty tearing at you, uh, and then it roars. And the roar knocks you back, and it stuns you and staggers you from whatever you're doing, and it just kind of sends you reeling, and is generally bad. I need to take down the snake head first. The snake head can grab you like it did earlier. Uh, and it's not too tough to, to chop it off. It actually had its own health bar. I don't know if you had a chance to see that. Uh, and when that snake head health bar, there we go, and it dropped the scale. When the snake's head health bar was emptied, that's when it was chopped off. Uh, now the next part is gonna be the goat's head. The goat's head casts all sorts of nasty status effect magic. So it will cast, and apologies for the camera kind of spazzing out here, it does some weird things in this game when you get caught up on geometry like this. Alright, I need to get out of there so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Uh, Goat's Head... Oh, and of course the wolves are back. Goat's Head does magic. Uh, it does the... Um, the sleep magic that put me to sleep earlier. Green Warish, let's give some of those to Milu. Who's going to promptly use all of them. Uh, Goat's Head does the status effect magic. It does sleep magic. I need to heal before I die. Escaped herbs, we'll just use both of those. Uh, need to stay alive here. Oh man, okay. Need to save Milu, and then need to watch my own health, because it looks like I'm about to get kicked by that thing. Uh, let's give everybody just a few more of these spring waters here. That's going to be all of them. I'm probably going to have to load up on these between videos after I finish this particular video. Uh, and then we should have some... Potent Green Marsh, which will heal me a whole bunch. Uh, Goat said the status effect magic. It is nasty. It does also um, attack magic, I believe. Like right now, it's aiming a fireball spell at me or some sort of fire spell at me. Well, it looks like maybe that stopped. I don't know. The magic from the goat's head is super annoying, and it's definitely our next target. You want to deal with that as quickly as you can, but if you try to climb up on the chimera and attack the goat's head and the snake is still alive, the snake tail. Uh, that snake tail can grab you, it can bite at you, it can poison you. So that's why we need to take out the snake first. That's why the snake was our first priority. Now as you can see, we're all just kind of climbing up on the goat head here and uh, just going to town. There I am. So we actually killed it. So the goat's head is now dead. I need to revive Lucy here. And the lion has been knocked over, so that's also fantastic. Uh, so now it's just a matter of killing the, the chimera, which is the lion. The lion's the rest of the health bar. He's going to roar here in a moment. Yep. And there is a harpy there. I'd like to be able to kill the harpies if I could, but this is okay. 
Um, Lion, you can still climb on and kind of throw off balance. Uh, also, as you can see, it's very susceptible to fire right now, so we keep lighting the, uh, the fire, or we keep lighting the Lion's Mane on fire. Oh, man. Okay, and somebody healed me there, so that's good. That's why I like having the... Uh, the spring water with the party because they are very quick to use it and can actually use it to save my life. And my life is far more valuable than theirs. Not to be elitist or anything, but the game ends when I die. It doesn't end when they die. So my life is more valuable. Uh, also, I'm just going to try to hang on this lion and wail away at him. I can use Scarlet Kisses when I'm climbing on him like this, which is just my normal dagger skill. So if he stops whipping me around, I can actually just dish out a tremendous amount of damage with this class. Uh, but again, my stamina drains... Okay, and he's going to keep throwing me around, so I'm going to get off and kind of... Hopefully we can knock him over or something again. And my fire enchantment's gone again, although it looks like Lucy took down the that last harpy, so that's exciting. Okay, it's almost dead. Yeah, so when people climb up on it, you can see it just kind of thrashes about and tries to get them off of its back. So that's really good for distracting it, because it generally, you know, there, there's a very high chance that it will just focus on trying to get those people off of its back. So that, you know, that's very, very good. Stops it from pouncing on me or from swiping at me with those nasty claws. You can also do, like, a, a kick with the tine legs. You saw me get hit by that a little earlier. And there, I got hit by it again, of course. All right, holy enchantment. That's better than nothing. There we go, and we took it down. So, they're fairly tough, but if you know the strategy, uh, snake first, you start at the back and work your way forward. Snake first, goat as soon as you can, and then just deal with the lion later. The goat is gonna be the most irritating part because of the status effects. The snake is annoying because it can grab you like what happened to me earlier, and it can poison you. Very, very dangerous creatures, but, uh, you know, we handled ourselves quite well. I'm going to loot this encampment here real quick. Awesome. Uh, and I'm going to... We're going to use the Fairy Stone to go back to Grand Soren. Although... Yeah, we're going to go back to Grand Soren. Uh, this is not actually my destination. I'm not ending just quite yet. I'm going to go try to kill... Um, ten boring regular harpies real quick. Uh, back up in the pass that we traversed to get to Grand Soren in the first place. Uh, there, we should be able to find ten harpies without too much trouble. Uh, I just want to accomplish as many of these quests as I can, and that's a pretty easy gimme. We should also run into a bunch of goblins. We need to kill 30. Um, we probably killed about 20 somewhere right in that vicinity, so killing ten more goblins, that's going to be a bit of a joke. And likewise, we'll find those up in the pass. So that's our next goal. And then that's probably going to be the last of the side quests that I do for now. Uh, I think I'm going to switch back and do... I, I'm, I'm going to do one more side quest, uh, but not in this video. It's going to be the beginning of the next video. Just because it is important to do... Uh, it, it unlocks... or It, uh, it gives us access to a pretty awesome shop, and it will be very helpful for uh, getting some better mage armor and equipment for uh, for Lucy. So I'm going to be doing that side quest. It, it's fairly important, so I want to do it in the main line of videos. Um, these This series of side quest videos is probably going to end as soon as I kill these goblins and the harpies and whatnot up here. Also, some herbs. Also, I want to check on the status of my meat. Uh, we're souring a bunch of our meat. That's good. I want to sell it all off, as I mentioned, constantly, uh, before it turns rotten, because it will, uh, it'll be worth quite a bit of money if I can sell it before it starts to rot. Uh, not going to give the wine to anybody. Ore doesn't weigh that much. That recovers some health. Miasmite does not weigh terribly much. Still going to get it out of my inventory. I'd like to see if I can drop below average. We're darn close to it. Hmm. Oh well, that's fine. Average is fine. Whoops. Actually, 
that's the other reason I popped into my inventory here, to eat a few more mushrooms. This should... Yep. That will drop us below average to light, so now I can move pretty darn quick. Alright. These goblins are going to be very quick to deal with. Uh, they'd be quicker to deal with if I had a fire enchantment. I do like having a bit of variety because we do run into creatures that are weak to holy magic and whatnot on occasion, like the undead, the, the phantoms and stuff that we encountered. Uh, but like these goblins are weak to fire and the problem with giving my mage options, like the problem with her having both a holy enchantment and a fire enchantment is that it's just up to the AI which one of those two they want to use. And more often than not, they pick the wrong one. So. I'm fully expecting Lucy to give me uh, just the holy enchantment. If she gives me any enchantment at all. Uh, giving, giving me the holy enchantment instead of the fire enchantment that these goblins are actually weak to. Well, it looks like maybe she's just going to keep giving it to Magnus, which I'm also okay with that. Alright, so there's a little shortcut on the side there. We're not going to take that path quite yet. Okay, and I'm planning on doing a bunch more exploration in these side quest videos, but uh, I would like to unlock that shop, and that means maybe doing a little bit more story stuff, so we'll, we'll do that in the next one. Gotta mix it up a bit, gotta keep switching it up whenever I can. Alright, there's the harpies. <laughs> I one shot with that harpy right out of the tree, which is fantastic. Oh, and I got another one! Oh, that was exciting! I was not expecting to hit that second harpy. Alright, these are going to be just much, 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 much easier to deal with than they were previously. Oh, that was dangerous. Almost went over the edge. Can I just knock that one down? Yeah. Where the heck did you come from? Harpies are really tough for me to hit. I'm not terribly good with the bow. Uh, I'm not very good at leading enemies, as you are probably seeing. So I have a tough time hitting things like harpies with my bow and arrow. Uh, whereas like a mage, their spells can lock on. And that has a different problem, because then you absolutely cannot lead enemies. Because like your fireball spell, say, for example will just target where the enemy is when you unleash it, and harpies are constantly moving as they fly through the area. Okay. See, like I said, killing all these harpies is not going to be too much of a problem. They're very, very common enemies in this pass. Now, I'd like to not get killed by this rock. And I'd also like it if my pawns to die here. <laughs> uh, and Milo, I think, used another um, flask of spring water. So that could be a bit of a problem. Pawns can use those curative items for silly reasons. The silly reason usually being that they got themselves killed. Ah. It looks like we're also going to have another one of those random encounters. Another one of those random little, like, hey, here's a mission, help this person, or kill all these enemies. Or both. And just like that, we've already killed ten harpies. So that was a very, very easy quest. And there are still more. Uh, they do drop items, though, that are pretty good to have. They sell for a fair bit, and I, they can probably be used to upgrade some of our weapons and armor. So here's another, the other side quest that I was just talking about. Slay the captors and free the prisoner. So in this case, the captors are harpies. And we just need to kill them all. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Nowhere near as challenging as killing the uh, the chimera, especially considering we already got most of the harpies in this area. There's one that's singing. There it is. There we go. Just like that. Uh, and then this NPC is freed. We get some extra money for saving him. Some extra experience. I'm going to try to skip this. It's going to give me a weird... Yeah, there's the weird cutscene. And, of course, I can't skip it as it fades out. This cage is not always here. The quest does not always happen. It's pretty random, but that's cool. I like that there are 
those random elements, these random quests throughout the game. Uh, let's see. Uh, goblins, where are my goblins? They're going to be up towards the top, aren't they? Did I already finish the goblin quest? Seven phantasms, 45 undead warriors, three cyclops, warriors, bats, goblins. Three more goblins! We're so close. All right, I'm going to keep going. I want to go kill three more goblins. It shouldn't be tough. They are everywhere in this game. At least everywhere in the early areas of the game. Uh. And of course, we're already at the... Uh, the Way Castle here. So I'm going to wander around and kill three more goblins, and then we're going to end the video. That's the plan. Hopefully I can find three more goblins. This could go poorly. Looking for goblins. Now, knowing my luck, odds are good that I'm just going to encounter wolves and bandits and no goblins, because... That's usually how my luck goes in these sorts of things. Looks like... Yeah, there's going to be some bandits down on the left there. Ah, there's going to be some goblins up... Or, not goblins, bandits up here ahead of us as well. Alright, I'm going to pause here. Um, with... All of this, we'll have to hunt those three goblins later. Uh, the video is going a bit long, and I don't want it to go too much longer. And also, there's something about these rogues that are immediately in front of me here, I believe. So, uh, yeah, we're going to continue next time. Uh, next time is going to be more critical path stuff, so I'm going to focus more on the important side quests, not these frivolous little, let's go hunt some goblins and ghosts. Ooh, ghosts and goblins, that's another game. That's a tough game. Not going to be playing that anymore. Uh... Yes, so more important stuff will be happening in the next couple of videos, I promise you. Thank you for joining me, everybody, and I will see you next time.